my client on her behalf asked me to release a press a press release today for Carrie Maxwell uh, a partial video was released and has received a lot of social media attention that's led to some very very ugly things being said about my client uh, there are people demanding that she lose her job even though she's a great teacher and has been a teacher for 12 years uh, it was a moment of panic on her part anxiety uh, you know these people have been stuck at home for three months or longer and every day on the news they see these protests turning violent and for some people that just is too much and when a protest happened near her residential neighborhood spilling onto her sidewalk she went out to ask them to move and there was a confrontation and she said something that she's horrified she said uh, but what she said does not reflect who she is uh, but there are many trolls on the internet and social media that enjoy kicking people when they're down and encouraging others to be hateful or even to make threats or to vandalize people's homes. It's, it's just a very ugly behavior. Well, she's devastated. Uh, she's worked her whole life to be a good person and she is a good person and people that know her know she's a good person. But in one episode in her life, in one tiny stretch of a few seconds, she said something that people are able to turn into something much uglier than it was. She didn't say anything racist. She didn't say anything against the, the movement. Uh, as she says in her statement, she's horrified by what we've all seen. And, and every one of us, uh, I believe, has shed a tear for George Floyd, for what that man went through while he was murdered. And we can't tolerate it. And so she made a statement that was angry, but not racist. And now people are saying, well, we, we need to get rid of her, get rid of her job. And, you know, it just hurts. There was some recording uh, there, but, you know, it captured a little bit more, like showing that she never threatened the child and that the uh, statements uh, that seemed to prompt the crying were the mother repeatedly saying, see what you did, see what you did? Do you want to do this to my daughter? Oh, she has having no interaction with the child. Basically talking to the mother. Right. Talking in an angry, stressed, uh, inappropriate way, which she acknowledges and apologizes for. It was really asking people to move it along, to get them away from her home. She has in a, a very, um, at-risk mother and a son uh, on the spectrum and she'd heard the chanting and the profanities and there'd been violence the day before near her home and she asked and demanded that this be moved away from her home and that person had an equal right to be there and I think you had two immovable forces where unfortunately my client said something inappropriate and stupid and ugly, but certainly nothing to indicate that she's a bigot. I think so many people are hurting now that the phone has become our new, uh, our new revolutionary pamphlet. It gives us a voice. And I think a lot of people are ready to see ugliness on the other side that's not there or may not be true in context. And so you can capture one minute out of 50 years of life and make someone look terrible. Uh, and unfortunately, there are people now that maybe their intention wasn't to see that misused, but there's so many people that are just trolling the internet, looking for reasons to spark anger and hate. Now, I look at this and I see my client being threatened and I see people demanding that she lose her job but I don't see any justice for George Floyd in that. And you know, we have much bigger fish to fry uh, other than a woman who made a non-racist comment.